All right, folks, I just got out here to the dock and we are going to try ourselves at some magnet fishing. Get back with you if we get you anything good. A cold front's coming in, it just dropped about 15 degrees in like 30 minutes. So, bundled up a little bit. Okay, I just got on something very heavy. Kind of hard to pull up. Ah, uh, I think I lost it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try to get this. It's very, very heavy. All right, let me work on it and get back to you. All right, I got it on the end. I can feel it. Let's pull it on up. Hey, hey, flashlight. Stream light. Oh yeah, that's not too good. Stream light flashlight. Ultra Stinger. Hmm. This hasn't been down there that long because this was not here when I came here last. No chance at all. Huh. Don't know. I'm sure the batteries are probably bad, but awesome. Flashlight. Yeah, that's not magnetic. The batteries inside are, so sweet. Alright, all I'm doing basically right now is dragging it along the bottom here. Oh, I feel something very big. That could be a log, actually. Or like a post underwater, because... It doesn't really feel like it's pulling, but it's a whole bunch of bubbles down there coming up now. Pretty positive I didn't get it, whatever it was. Yeah, all I got on there is two hooks. I'm trying to be quick here before I drop it. Oh, that is a cellular telephone, folks. I've never found one. Oh, that's an old school one. Somebody's mobile phone. And a South Bend little thing. It looks like oil. Huh. Cell phone. Not a chance that's gonna work. It probably hasn't been down there that long. And Motorola i465. Huh. No memory card or anything for a slot. Hmm. Cell phone. That's not very magnetic. I am very lucky that that pulled up. Holy cow. Cell phone. Fishing rod. Oh, and a nasty, nasty rag that I will throw away. Oh man, we did all right that time with stuff. Top of a can, an old rag, and I caught a fishing rod on there. Actually, the only reason I caught probably is because that string was stuck. A line actually rather Durango Shakespeare awesome well that my friends should be a very nice rod Durango SC15 I'll look it up and a Jericho uh, 4035 
five foot six heavy action very cool I am loving that incidental find I just got it stuck in between the magnet like that and it pulled it right up and I will chuck these nasty bits oh lordy Ooh. pocket knife that sucker is a brand spanking new holy cow check that out that barely has like any rust or anything on it just around the screws there M Tech USA 440 stainless steel crafted in China so it's probably not worth very much but that's an awesome blade awesome so happy it's pretty light actually but very cool that was it oh yeah knife I see something on the end here just part of a can that's all okay this will be the last one so we're just gonna drag it for a while see what comes up so much like debris and stuff down here meaning like the seaweed stuff it's not really seaweed but you know what I mean See if that got anything. Oh, plastic. I will throw that away. Oh boy. Big hunk of iron, actually. I don't find too much iron. Coors Light. Alright, I'm not gonna clean all that off. Let's just throw it back real quick. Put this right here try it again see if we get anything I kind of just like flip it back and forth here trying to keep it straight there's a lot of stuff down here, vegetation wise. Oh, I feel something pulling. And nothing. I'm gonna I'm gonna dry at it for a little bit more. Last find, whatever it may be. Whatever that is. Urgh. And a nut. All right, let's get out of here and do a wrap up. All right, folks, let's do a wrap up. Um, put the magnet away, but uh, just some bottle caps and tops of cans and stuff I just wrapped up. A little piece to a uh, fishing rod, like to adjust the drag. Um, only keeper fishing hook I got. We got a flashlight here stream light ultra stinger obviously it doesn't work now but hopefully it will stream light patented eagleville pennsylvania um and we got a pocket knife m tech usa 440 stainless steel premium design we got a motorola i46 cell phone and we got a Durango Shakespeare fishing rod, real Shakespeare Durango SC15 with a Lurco, right? Lurco 4038, five foot six heavy action rod. Overall, pretty good hunt. I had a blast. I hope you enjoyed. See you on the next.